Uh-oh. This can't be good. <laughs> this is my last student. Uh, he overdid it, as usual. I'll keep that for him. Okay. Tonight I want to explain uh, a combination that I see a lot of folks doing out there, and a few of my friends on Speedback Forum wanted me to kind of demonstrate and explain to them. It's the side-to-side -side double punch combination and mixing it with front-to-reverse double punch combination. You have the side-to-side -side here, you mix the front-to-back, front-to-back, side-to-side. Okay, I'm going to explain to you how to do that. It's actually pretty simple if you'll do a couple of things. And the first is your stance and setup. Speed bag stance, like this. Fists at the chin, arms and elbows up. Not here, up. You don't want your elbows down because almost every time you punch, if you don't concentrate, your fist is going to end up at the level of your elbow. If your elbow is down, your fist is going to be down. And when your fist is down under the bag, you're punching back up at the bag. It's not going to work for you. From this position, it's much easier to have a straight plane of movement. My fist can move all around in this motion. And that's all we're doing here. Very easily because my fist and elbow are on the same level. If I move my fist and elbow to different levels, probably like this, I'm going to end up having my fist seek the elbow. That's the first thing. Fist anchored right here at the chin. The second thing is to get your bag set up correctly. It doesn't matter how big your bag is or what size it is. You want to get the belly of it, which is the fattest part, right at your mouth. Because that's where your, chin, that's where your fists are. If my fists are here and I'm standing correctly, my fists lay perfectly up to the belly of the bag. Not here punching upwards, and it can actually be a little lower and it won't be too bad, but you've got the board up here. But you want to have the belly right at, right at the level of your fist, which is right at your mouth. And what this allows me to do is hit the bag and put, with my elbow up, put my fist straight through. This is front to back or, or on a side angle, it doesn't matter. What I'm doing is push straight through and straight back. A lot of people try to duck their fists under the bag, but you don't have to do that. Because here's, what's, here's what happens. Here's the secret to this. If you hit the fattest part, which is the belly, the bag goes up to the board. Now remember, your fist hits and just keeps going. It extends out. While, you're, while the bag is on the board, your fist will travel far enough so that when the bag rebound is done, just an infant of a second, when it comes off, your fist is already behind it. You don't have to duck under. The, the fist actually goes under the bag while it's on the board. And it doesn't matter how big and fat your bag is, or how long it is. If you have the belly at the right space to your mouth, this will work. Now, if, if you punch up here off the belly in this area of the bag, your, the bag, the, the fat part is going to trap your hand and you can't get through because it catches the bag. But if you hit lower on the belly, when it goes up, it just drops under. It's here, fist hits, while it goes to the board, your fist passes and it's done. So it's straight through. Now, front double bunch position from here, you have a lead fist, second fist. Lead fist is a little lower than your second, or second fist is actually a little higher, Hits, lead fist, one rebound, second fist, fists go through, the bag makes two rebounds, it'll hit your second fist, one, two, and you hit reverse double punch. Now, after reverse double punch, the lead fist of this reverse double punch behind the bag is going to hit, the bag's going to come up here, and that lead fist is going to go to the side. The second fist hits, comes to the front, and I'm here. And what is this? This is the side double punch setup position. From here, side double punch setup, just extend one fist, probably your dominant fist, start with your right or left, doesn't matter. You're going to extend it kind of outward to here. 
This is the starting position for the side double punch. Home position, side double punch. And I'm going to angle my fist so the flat part of my index will hit the side panel of the bag. This lead fist of a side double punch is, is really going to hit the, the front of the bag. But it's going to go kind of an angle this way. This fist comes in, and they just change position. Lead fist out, second fist in. This is all I'm doing. I'm not pinwheeling this way. This way. I don't have my arms fully extended doing this. I see this a lot too here. Well, that's, that'll work, but that's a really hard way to do it on your shoulders because you're carrying the whole weight of your extended arms. It's a lot harder. There's not quite as much stress on your shoulders if you're here as if you're here. So from this position, set up. Lead fist hits the front, second fist hits the side, here. That's all there is to it. That's the side double punch. From this angle here, lead fist, this is the front panel of the bag facing me. Lead fist hits, side here. From here, back, side to side. Watch the position of the elbows. The perfect position to use for this is the position of a front fist roll. You're here. If you notice the fist roll here, you have to do this. The fist roll is very hard to do with your elbows down. It's almost impossible to do because you're doing this rather than this. Here. This is the position from the back side to side. that you got to keep those elbows up to do this because for me to do something like this I've got to have the elbows up. If I drop my elbows during that I'm probably going to miss hit the bag you're going to hear that an upward shank and I'm going to miss. Well, okay, UK speed bag, I'm going to do this for you one more time around the bag. Here it is. Front to back, side to side. That's how it works. Train safe, friends. Take care. And if you want to speak any more about this, myself, Speedbag Skunk, and a whole group of us are at speedbagforums.com. We're talking speedbag every night. See you there.